All right. Round four. We got John Pang. John Pang. <laughs> uh, won another die roll. I'm really good at die rolls, you guys. Uh, the Tina Moon. I guess this is a keep. I don't really want to lead with Lantern. Because... When you don't have scry effects, your opponent's gonna have like more shuffles and stuff to make their lanterns and make your lantern into scries for them. So I'm actually just gonna lead with Spellbomb. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Glimmer Void, Spellbomb. Because if I draw. Oh my god. I forgot to say in an early, earlier section. Probably my intro is where it should have gone, but shout outs to Tommy Ashton and uh, John Pennick for lending me the cards for this deck. Much appreciated. I, uh, even when I had like a good sized moto collection, I would not have had some of the stuff in these decks. So it is definitely appreciated. Well, Mox Opal's kind of the nut draw here. Um, don't really want to play Skite into a snare. So let's stir up a little mischief. Try and find a Codex Shredder. It's most likely... Hey, we did it. <laughs> GQ Lantern Opal My opponent is F6 for some reason with a fetch and play Shredder You may have a turn even though I think my opponent might be mana screwed and that's why they were f 6 If you start trying to keep them off of lands with your Shredder without like very good reason, uh, it's an uphill battle to fight because you're trying to make them fade half their deck. I do not want a Glimmer Void. I don't really want a City of Brass either, but not enough to mill it away because my opponent uh, is going to fetch and I want to be able to have Shredder up to deal with Junk and Stiff. So I'm going to lead with Skype. If he gets remanded, I'm just going to go City Skype. It's not remanded. In that case, I thought we're getting cutesy with this spell bomb, but I don't think I need to. Hmm. I kind of do want to discard spell. If I'm going to be trying to protect my bridge. Yeah, all right. I'll wait. No point in getting it now and getting it leaked or remanded and then V-clicked or whatever. Fetching the night away. Twin, this matchup is not good. Thankfully, Spell Skite helps. My opponent wants to draw this twin. I, as a red-blooded American, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I have my Skype.
This guy's time to die. I can't hit it with the Inquisition. Yeah, I'm gonna mill it. You could definitely make an argument against this, but... No! <laughs> That's one of the arguments against it. All right, well. I guess kind of have our work cut out for us now. Um, I don't really want to draw the spell bomb anymore. I can just draw this naturally for turn. And lead with it, I assume, since I can pay for a leak, although these decks play remand. So let's see what you get. Playing the Deceiver response. I assume Deceiver, not Pestermite, since I have the Pyrite chilling. Holy smokes. Huh. Well. I literally have a lantern on top of my deck. So I think Spellskite is probably sitting this one out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I mean, I'm not cool with it, but it's happening. So I'm going to learn to live with it. What is your hand? Splinter Twin, five cards that I can't beat, probably. Oh my god, this is my nightmare. If you've ever seen me do my rant on how much I hate Inquisition versus Thoughtseize, this is my actual nightmare. All right, well, let's go ahead and get Lantern back online. Ooh, another Stirrings. On its hand is Island Mountain Island. Twin Command, Consume the Meek. I wonder if my opponent has Mystical Teachings in his deck. That would be great. Finds the Flash Creatures in addition to Culligan's Command, Consume the Meek, whatever else. You may have a Serum or Sulfur Falls. I don't think I want you to have a Serum Visions, though. one mill effect with my lantern so overloading with card draw is definitely um, a feasible way out of the soft lock <sighs> that's what my opponent's thinking about here what what are you doing sure it costs one. This is bananas. I have no idea what my opponent is doing. 
It's that important to protect your serum pigeons? I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Um, hmm. I guess I should lead with the green spell, ancient stirrings, stir the pot. Carry your ones, you say. Seems pretty damn near ideal. A shredder. Green man, not too hot. Oh, uh, yeah, you can have a remand. Snapcaster, I have a problem with Snapcaster. That one I'm going to have to disallow. Apologies. Shuffle it back into your deck. That's not the way to attack these, by the way. Bolt is pretty irrelevant. That can stick around. I'm just going to draw Shredder because it's great. Go ahead and give you a Lightning Bolt. Don't care about that one too much. That one, however, I care about quite a bit. me. You got it, boss. You can have a twin. Um, do I want this bell? Guess not. Uh, the bell's probably good with ruins. I mean, I could free roll this actually. I don't know why I'm thinking about it. I could just mill it, and then if it's better than whatever is below it, I can Academy of Ruins it back. Just tread some water. It looks awkward, but it's actually pretty sweet. As I said, you may have your twin. That one I have issue with. Still to this day. Bolts, you can have that. Needle, what does needle do? Probably not enough, because I can't name Exarch and Twin. Although, I can have Pyrite in play and then Needle Exarch. 
Well, I can set that up later if that's the route I want to go. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Delta is a okay by me. I do this free roll null thing. Ooh, not each player, just me. Yeah, I'll take a shredder. Yeah, I'll take a shredder. There's the bridge. I get through a sea of remands for it though. This is fine. I'll just snap, let it resolve. All right. My opponent just doesn't know what they're doing, I think. Another remand. Um, not the biggest fan. Yeah, I'm going to say no to that. Pretty priced into saying no to that. That as well. Come on, you gotta run out of gas eventually. There you go. You can have a stupid turn. Actually, can't really shred anymore because my opponent can just play an instant and remand it. Thoughtseize is pretty good though. Yes! An opponent that actually conceded. Not only did we win, but an opponent that actually conceded. I'm so happy. 